Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another cash stuffing video. So this is going to be July paycheck number three. So number two, I didn't film on camera, but I do have some shorts on it. So make sure you check out my shorts for that. Now I was thinking about splitting this video up because it's so long. It's like 20 minutes long when I do all my binders. So I was thinking about just doing sinking funds today and then I'll have another one that will be dedicated maybe to savings challenges as well as my fixed expenses, which is my six months of expenses. So I think today we're going to do six months of expenses. As you guys saw there in the beginning of the video, I did make 260. Well, I paid myself 260 for my small business. I want to say thank you guys for your orders. The business is growing slowly. And if you didn't check out my small business video, basically where I give you a tour of my office slash studio, make sure you check out that video. It's super, super fun and helpful. And I need your guys ideas on what I should switch around around the office but make sure you check out that video and everything in this video is linked below in my shop. So make sure you check out my website to see all cash stuffing things that you need there as far as budgeting. And I also have a planner. So basically I plan my money ahead of time before I do a video, before I cash stuff anything. So I do have that available in my shop. You can get single sheets or you can get the whole budget book, but they are laminated and reusable. So I do use a Sharpie for them and I just erase it with alcohol and you can reuse them. So that's super helpful to have when you're cash stuffing. And I do implement zero based budgeting. So basically every dollar has a home. So at the end when I'm budgeting everything, every dollar goes somewhere and I don't have money left over in order to spend in my pocket. So let's get started. We're going to start with our fixed expenses, which is going to be my six months of expenses because I am saving for six months ahead. So that's going to be this binder right here. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is going to be car note and that's going to get $10. So let's put in 10 for car note. So now we have a total of 20, 40, 60, 70, 75. So Cardinal has 75 now. Groceries is going to get $10. So let's add 10 to this. So it makes it a total of 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So we have a total of $90 in groceries. And I think I'm going to add different placeholders to some of these. So if you don't know what a placeholder is, it's basically this. And the money I cash out for these placeholders will go into the bank. Right now, I have them in envelopes in the safe, but they will be transferred to a savings account. So there goes mortgage. I mean, mortgage is going to get 20 so I do have a placeholder on here and these are available in my shop. So this is a placeholder holder for 200. So 200 is in the bank now. So, I mean, not in the bank yet, but I will be transferring to the bank. So this is going to get $20 mortgage. So now we have a total of 200. This is 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So $259 is in mortgage. And remember, I'm saving for six months of expenses. So all of the binders as well as the envelopes are available in my shop. Car insurance is going to get $10. So how was you guys weekend? We went to the beach this weekend and it was super, super fun and chill. The kids enjoyed the beach, so let me know down below what you guys did this weekend or if you guys have kids or no kids, um, but it was super fun. The girls and the baby had a good, good time, so let me know what you guys did this weekend. Okay, so car insurance got a total of $10, so now we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4. So now we have a total of $74 in car insurance. Cell phone is going to get $10. And if you guys have any questions, like if you're confused in anything in the website, let me know down below and I can guide you to, 
through what you would need in order to start cash stuffing your money. So that got $10. It's going to have a total of 20, 40, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3. So cell phone has a total of $73. Water is going to get $10. Okay, so now we have a total of 20, 40, 60, 70. So 70 in water. Electricity is going to get $10. So now electricity, electricity has a total of 20, 40, 60, 75. So $75 there. Okay, so that is going to be it for my six months of expenses. I think I'm going to do a savings challenge here now. So I'm going to do my July monthly challenge and I have to get to it because I have three spots left in my scratch and save. So let's scratch it off and see what we get. So this is my monthly savings challenge is the scratch and save. And I wanted to show you guys really quickly what it is. So basically it is an envelope, a building envelope, and it has scratch offs in the front of it. So this is like for January and I have all the way to December. So we're going to move on to July. So let's scratch one of these off really quickly and see what we get. Okay, I'm going to do this one right here. So let's do this one right here. And it scratches off really smoothly. Okay, so I'm going to add $10 to this. So, so far we should have a total of $30 inside. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And now I'm going to end, add $10 to this. So I have two more. I think next week I'll do both of them because July is almost over. And then I'll transfer this money over into my six months of expenses or my sinking fund. So I don't know which one yet or split it up between both binders. Now, also, my self-care savings challenge is almost done with, but I'm going to do it in another, in another video, but I wanted to show you guys. So basically, when I'm done with my savings challenges, I put it into my sinking funds as well as my six months of expenses. So self-care is almost done. I only need one more. And this is a two. I think I need two more, actually. No, one more. And then we'll have a total of 150 in there. Let me just double check to see. But I'll do this in a separate video. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, so I'm going to add actually two $5 in there because each heart is worth $5. And then I'll be complete with the 150 And then I'll show you guys in a separate video basically how I will split this up into my sinking funds and my six months of expenses. So I kind of want to move slowly on this channel because I feel like it's just like all over the place. And I want to bring you guys more content, but very slowly, just to teach you guys how this all works. Because honestly, just cramming everything into one video, number one, the video gets long, and I feel like people won't watch the whole video. So um, next video is going to be our sinking funds, and probably we're going to finish the self-care challenge. And then in a separate video, I'll show you guys where I allocate that money to. So... Thank you guys for watching. Again, make sure you check out my office slash studio tour. Um, it's the video before this one. And also make sure you check out the shorts because I did add something new to the shorts. So I do like a mystery egg savings challenge. So any extra money that I get throughout the week, I'll put into my savings challenges. But it is a mystery egg challenge, which is super fun and cool. It's just a funner way to save money. So again, the shop is linked below. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you have any questions about cash stuffing and zero-based budgeting, period, please don't be afraid to leave a comment and I can explain anything to you guys. 
And also, there's many ways you can go with this. You save your way. You don't have to get the binders or none of that. Just by showing me support by watching, liking, and sharing this video will help my channel out as well as the business. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for all your support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.